keep it going. And it's important in other ways because we got to keep things going around here and not keep our head down. We got to keep things going and kind of set the tempo for next year. Darren Krein, one of the leaders for the Hurricanes defensive unit, making a very good point. It's not a streak that belongs to this senior class or this Miami squad, but plenty of other Miami teams since the 85 season that have been a part of this streak. As they try to win their 57th straight to tie Alabama's NCAA record. John Martin waiting for the kickoff. He'll take it from the four. And he doesn't make it back to their 20. Great coverage of the special teams by Miami. It'll be first and 10 at the 17-yard line for Memphis State. There's only 4-12 left in the third quarter, Coach. We've got a flag back if Miami could possibly be offside. And Memphis State's only had the ball 22 seconds in the second half. That'll do a number on your defensive unit. Just wears them down. We'll see another kickoff. It's a 28 to 10 lead for the Hurricanes of Miami. As they try to close out the regular season at 9 and 2. Miami has not had two losses in the season since the 1990 campaign, the last time they were not a part of the national championship picture. The people of South Florida have definitely been spoiled by their football. Florida you know, State, Florida, you know, Joe, it's and now Miami. It's interesting. They're, they're talking to Miami. They called Miami offside, but they're talking to Miami. Now they're talking to Memphis State. The appeal play? Let's head back down to Adrian. Joel, that NCAA streak that you and Darren Cryan were discussing and describing, established by the University of Alabama over a 20 year period, 1963 through 1982. Well, these guys could tie the record tonight over an eight year period. Why in such a uh, shorter period of time? You've got to remember at Alabama, the Bear split his home games between Birmingham and Tuscaloosa. That's why it took so long, because he only played 57 games in Tuscaloosa over that time. One of the victims, late 1982. Cincinnati Bearcats and some guy named Coach uh, Michael <laughs> Charles Guthrie. Glad you brought it up, Adrian. Thanks, Adrian. Uh, I'll tell you a little story about that when I get a chance here. But right after the kick the off. It'll be John Martin. Will it head out of bounds? Yes. Wisely. Martin lets it go out of bounds. So now Memphis State will have the ball at their own 35. Had a fine football team at Cincinnati. We went to play Alabama Tuscaloosa where the Bear had won 48 straight and uh, and it was their homecoming game. He never went to the homecoming dance uh, unhappy. He was always happy. But I took a friend with me, Dr. Smith, to uh, Jake Smith, who was a, like a father to me when I went to school at Moorhead. And we were standing in the corner of the uh, near the locker room, and one of the managers came running in. He said, Coach, Coach, the Bears out in the field, and he's looking for you. And I looked at Dr. Smith. He looked at me, and he said, It's time for you, son, to go take your medicine. But uh, the players really loved the fact that we played Bear Bryant. The players were in awe of Bear Bryant. They asked me, said, do you mind if we get a picture of uh, the Bear? And uh, I said, no, you go ahead and do whatever you want to. He's a great coach and one of the greatest of all time. You can see the quarters that we have, similar to the Quonset Hutton Bridge over the River Kwai here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. First and 10 out to the 40. And Larry Porter checked in. Holiday breaking through into the secondary for a first down for the Tigers. The Miami 47, Marcus Holiday. He has had better running room, believe it or not, than their leading rusher, Larry Porter. Harris and Little making the stop of the secondary. Tony Scarpino needs a running game badly because he's been under pressure all night. One sack, five hurries, three knockdowns, three interceptions, three batted balls. A tough night for Tony Scarpino. Holiday stays in there as a single set. Four wide receivers for Scarpino. And it's Holiday. He is slammed to the 45 by Robert Bass. Talk about a sure handed tackle. And he's playing tonight. Usually he alternates with Ray Lewis, but Ray Lewis was hurt in practice. When they came back to practice this week, Dennis Erickson wanted to hit a little bit more after the West Virginia game, and Ray Lewis hurt his neck, so he's missing tonight, not alternating with Robert Bass. You see that little Big East logo on the left side of the jerseys of the Miami Hurricanes. Are you surprised by the emergence of the four teams this year in the Big East and not Syracuse involved? I, I hope Syracuse still goes to a bowl game. I know they're six, four, and one, but uh, Marvin Graves, the reason I'd like to see him go is he's been the most valuable player in the last three years in bowl games, but doesn't look like they're going to make it this year. Second and eight. Huge hole for Holiday. He's into the secondary for a Memphis State first down all the way down to the Miami 31. Corwin Francis finally making that hit. 
The center providing a key block up the middle. That's Jeff King. The little old. little quick hitter, Joel, to Marcus Holiday, number 31. Good block by Jeff King, the center, number 64. All of a sudden, the Miami defensive front getting hit with some runs. They've been rushing a passer all night. First and 10, Memphis State. Finally, they've been able to hold on to the ball here in the second half. It's only the second time they've had it. Holiday won't go anywhere this time. Kevin Patrick getting to him early along with Warren Sapp. Well, Coach, you think football's tough? The yes. NHL on ESPN comes your way. Hunter and Sylvain Turgeon matching up once again. The Washington Capitals of the New York Islanders. You might remember last year, Capitals' Dale Hunter basically cheap-shotting the Islanders' Pierre Turgeon. He's had the longest suspension in NHL history at 21 games. While Hunter is back on the ice, the team's meeting for the first time since that very ugly incident right here on ESPN Tuesday. NHL hockey at 7.30. Larry Patterson, the only one in the backfield, they flare it out. It's John Martin. John Martin with a nifty move for a first down to the 20-yard line. So finally, Memphis State coming alive in the second half. Been successful with the little short passing game. Kenny Lopez. On the tackle. Carl Battershell with the call, and there you see First John down. Martin tweet. At 10, on the 20. He's a senior, John Martin. A very important game for this young man. The Tigers come in at 6 and 4. They'd love to be the upset team of the night. Rickland is balding. Not much available to the 19 as Burgess got him low and held on. James Burgess, true freshman, the linebacker from Homestead, Florida. You have to think that Chuck Stobart down 18. We'll think of this in terms of a four down territory. You're only going to get so many opportunities against this Miami defense. Second and long. Something they haven't seen all that often on this drive. Putting pressure on the quarterback, Scarpino. Looked at his first option, then threw it away when the first option, Isaac Bruce, was taken away. And let's go back downstairs to Adrian Karsten. Third down, nine. Well, obviously, technical difficulties with the microphone for Adrian. We'll get back to him in just a second. And he's talking about me losing at Alabama. <laughs> he can't get that <laughs> microphone working. <laughs> Coach is tough. End of the year. I think you guys have been around a little bit too long. Now I know why long Ron. Season. Now I know why Ron Franklin's not here tonight. <laughs> you want to get involved with this? Two out of twelve on third down for Memphis State. Make it two out of thirteen. Holiday on the call. Very conservative call by the offensive unit for Memphis State. I think they have to go for this fourth down. Lopez. The field goal would only cut the deficit to fifteen as the clock continues to roll in the final minute of the third quarter. And Chuck Stobart agrees with you. They will be going for it. It's really easy to make those decisions up here. Let me tell you, down there, a little bit tougher for Chuck Stobart. Well, you don't have to talk about that decision with the alumni after the game anymore. No, that's right. I just go get a hot dog and leave. Memphis State uses their first time out in the second half. We'll be right back to find out what they do on fourth down. Our winning combination. I've got good news and great news. Schaefer Marine and Sport has moved back home to the Bluff City Autoplex, and that means super deal. I'm Bobby Ward with a special on the fun boat of all time. This sleek 94 Sea Raider can be yours for only $137 a month. This boat is full of fun and thrill. Or look at this, 94 Sea Ray Ski Boat, yours for only $159 a month. Want to skip payments to spring? We'll work it out for you at Schaefer Marine and Sport, your low overhead, high volume boat dealer. Get one at I-240. Let's do business. Backyard Burgers beats the competition in every category with the Bigger Better Burger. Seven gourmet toppings made with only the freshest ingredients. Backyard Burgers are charbroiled hot and tasty. And right now you can get a one-third pound blackened burger combo for only $2.99. Come on over to Backyard Burgers. We're cooking out. And try to roll away. You could calmly tell them they're crushing you. And when that doesn't work, scream. Or you could watch. 
We'll see you at 7.30 Eastern next Prime Monday. Before the Chargers and Colts, we'll go backstage with defensive star Junior Seau and talk about the inconsistency of Jeff George. by 18 and now it's fourth and six for Memphis State. There's Carl Batters to the booth to our left. What is he going to do on fourth and six? He's making the play call. 25 seconds left in the third quarter. Keep your eye on Mike Anderson number three and 83 Isaac Bruce. Scarpino for one of the few times tonight out of the shotgun. He's got his man, and it's knocked away. Knocked away from Bruce, and what a timing play by Paul White, the defensive back. The senior from Tampa. Paul White gets a real good break on the football. Again, I've been really impressed with him tonight. Number four, Paul White. Now watch him. He drops back against Isaac Bruce, reads the route, now reads the quarterback, now the breakup, and causing the deflection. The break is so important out of a corner. Once he sets the break up and knock the football away. I think he's a graduate cornerback, that said. So Scarpino thought he had it on target for Bruce, but the corner slipped underneath. And now Miami leading 28 to 10, has it first and 10 of their own 16. Ryan Collins throws it right into the hands of the defensive back, Barry Dillard, who could not hang on. Another bad decision by Ryan Collins. He really should have run the football. Just threw it right in the hands of Barry Dillard, number 26. Barry Dillard was surprised. It is definitely a different look for Miami to have a quarterback who likes to get out of the pocket. Oh, really? Barry Dillard, well, Christmas came early for him, but he dropped the football. Good block by Alan Simonetti, the center. Woo. Sealed, blocked James Logan, number 45, but Ryan Collins should have run the football. Second and 10 now for the Hurricanes. Tough play for Harris. Barry Diller time that one. What they do is they bait you. Memphis. It hurts even more the second time. Well, they have the uncovered receiver, and they bait you into throwing that. That's the final play of the third quarter. The Hurricanes in control as they look for their 57th consecutive win here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. presents George Strait. A small touch, a certain look, it's the little things that are worth the most. Which is why every Delta faucet gives you more than you'd ever expect for the money. Giving you the money for those things you can't even put a value on. Delta the way water is brought to life. This is the all-new GMC Sonoma. There are so many changes that we couldn't tell you about all of them in 30 seconds, so we wrote a book about it. Call 1-800-GMC-TRUCK and check one out. Sonoma from GMC Truck. The average Grand Prix lasts but a few hours, unless it's a Grand Prix started with a genuine Delco Freedom battery. Delco's rated tops for taking the pole position in starting power and excelling in reserve capacity helps keep your engine in the race for a longer, more reliable life. AC Delco. It's like buying time. 
Now through December 4th, get started with up to $14 cash back on Delco Freedom Batteries. If you can dream it, the Rebel can do it. Now EOS Rebel from Canon has more power to create images, not just snapshots. Image is everything. EOS Rebel and Rebel S from Canon. So advanced, it's simple. This holiday season, while you're shopping, we'll be dropping $5 million in the Discover Card Big Payback. Now, every time you use your card, you're automatically entered in our $5 million sweepstakes. It pays to discover the card with the big payback. The Orange Bowl in Miami, and you will not see an empty seat in this stadium on New Year's Day. As Nebraska will be matching up with most likely Florida State. Joel Myers along with Mike Godfrey, a 28 to 10 lead for Miami over Memphis State. Trying to tie Alabama's NCAA record with 57 consecutive wins at home. They're 15 minutes away from accomplishing that. They started the fourth and final with quarter. It is third and eight for Miami. Collins with pressure goes down and lost the ball at the end of the play. It's still loose. The sack for Memphis State. Tony Williams, the first one, and then Tim Hart. That is the fourth sack. Recovered by Miami, but the sack all the way back close to the 11-yard line. Number 54, Tim Hart. 53, Tony Williams. Meeting at the quarterback. Now, if you're Memphis, you go for the block here. They were close one time on a punt block. 29, Ken Irvin is their specialist. Chrissy gets it away, but it's a low wobbler. John Martin is, will they go after it? He will. He'll take it right out of bounds. Dangerous play by the Memphis State return man. Tigers have super field position now, first and 10 at the 47 of the Hurricanes. And our thanks now to Captain Ash and the crew of the Goodyear Blim Stars and Stripes for the great overhead shots we've received all night long on a magnificent evening here at the Orange Bowl in Miami. Strange game, Coach. Better than 400 yards of offense and most of it in the passing attack for Ryan Collins, the quarterback for the Hurricanes, but there hasn't been a great deal of rhythm to their offensive sequence tonight. Really, uh, man, you have to credit Memphis State. They have taken Ryan Collins completely out. As you look at the time of possession, third quarter, Miami just dominated it, but was not able to put the game away. They go with the reverse. It's Cody. They tried it real early in the game. They're trying it late now. It doesn't fool Miami. C.J. Richardson staying at home. The safety on that side. And let's head back to Adrian. So remember what Coach Chuck Stober told me as far as adjustments were concerned at halftime. That type of play right after they set it up with a run pass check to the middle. What they're trying to do is take advantage of Robert Bass, who has not played a game this long all season long. What he usually does is to rotate with Ray Lewis, but Ray Lewis hurt his neck in practice this week. And what they lose there is a guy who can break on the ball very well, but also uh, plays the run uh, very well as well. What they don't know is Robert Bass is from Brooklyn. You gotta be tough if you're coming from Brooklyn. Scarpino has a man. It's Anderson for a first down inside the 30. Mike Anderson, the junior from El Cajon, California, brought down by Terrace Harris. Seeing the development of a quarterback tonight because Tony Scarpino has really taken a beating in this football game, but he'll stand in there. Number 16, Tony Scarpino, under a heavy rush, is able to stand in there, find a receiver. Darren Cry, number 91, with the pressure. Hit Mike Anderson, number three, for the first down. So 28 to 10 lead for Miami. Under 14 minutes left. Short drop this time for Scarpino. No chance for Isaac Bruce, the wide receiver. On a play that was rushed, it seemed, from the outset. They really haven't been able to find Isaac Bruce deep tonight. Most of the underneath stuff is the way they've gone with Isaac Bruce. The leading receiver out of Fort Lauderdale, a homecoming for the young man who went to Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale. One of the few, and there's only three for Memphis State that are natives of the Miami Fort Lauderdale area coming home tonight with the Tigers. Second and ten. 
Bruce, right of the marker, is pushed back, but Isaac Bruce close to the first down after 17 for his sixth reception of the evening. What a great catch by Isaac Bruce, but I'll tell you again, Tony Scarpino you know, it, it keeps impressing me with the fact of hanging in there. Isaac Bruce, curl route, well defended. Watch him sit down the curl, now come back to the football. Make the high catch, C.J. Richardson on his back, number 19. Here comes the pressure on Tony Scarpino, number 91, Darren Krein. Right hit right after he throws the football. And they do have the first down by the nose of the football. Just inside the 17-yard line of Miami. Well, for Tony Scarpino, a lesson in his second career start. And fortunately for Tony Scarpino, it is the last regular season game for Memphis State, so plenty of time for treatment. His next game will be the spring game. Spring practice, a lot of work, and he'll be back to lead this Tiger team next year. He's only been sacked twice in previous games coming into this game, and only sacked once tonight. He has a quick release. Scarpino on first down, racing through the ball, knocked away. It looked like it was covered by Memphis State. His racing through was Robert Bass, the young man from Brooklyn, New York, we were just talking about, and they're calling it an incompletion again. Yeah, J.C. may have to get his glass, may have to get some glasses here. But, yes, now they're finally saying... Now they're calling right. it a fumble. And Al Dawkins did cover it. Robert Memphis Bass State. on the blitz just talked about the lack of... He doesn't give up sacks, but he tried to lateral the ball at the last second. Wow, they're going to give that to him. It's going to be called an incomplete pass. Robert Bass with good pressure. Very lenient crew. Shovel draw. That's the way they threw it up all the way. Second and ten, just inside the 17. Couple of fresh backs in there. Dawkins and Spalding. And Scarpino sets up. He's got Bruce. Touchdown, Memphis State. What a beautiful route. Working on Bass. Or check that. He was working on the strong safety. Not 49, but 19. C.J. Richardson. So Memphis State cuts into the Miami lead. And the extra point can make it an 11-point contest. Isaac Bruce with a nice corner route. He's been impressive tonight. Kept his feet inbounds. Touchdown. Good throw by Tony Scarpino. Allison in for the extra point try. He has hit 90 straight. Make it 91 straight now. And it's an 11-point game. 12.46 left for the Orange Bowl. Don't go anywhere. It's Miami 28, Memphis 8-17. State Farm presents the rules of the game. We're talking about false starts. In this play, what is the infraction against the offensive right tackle? I'm State Farm agent Jeff Libby. One of the most gratifying parts of my job is helping young parents, people who are just beginning to understand what life insurance is all about. Young couples don't need a sales talk. They just need to talk to someone who understands them and their life insurance needs. Now, I know what that promise of security means, and I don't believe there's a better promise a parent can make. State Farm sells life insurance. We're talking about false starts. In this play, the offensive right tackle moved before the snap. This is a dead ball foul and five-yard penalty against the offense. Rules of the Game has been brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. everything we know into this one, Sonoma from GMC Truck. ESPN's presentation of CFA College Football is brought to you by Panasonic, just slightly ahead of our time, and by Bud Light. If you want great taste that will fill you up, that never lets you down, make it a Bud Light. 
Beautiful night of the Orange Bowl in Miami. Joel Myers along with Mike Gottfried. An 11-point game now. As Memphis State just scored on a 17-yard toss to Isaac Bruce. Joel, when you're a defensive back and you get beat deep, what you do is you come off the sideline and make sure the phone's off the hook, that the secondary coach can't get a hold of you. And if it's not off the hook, just bust it up so it can't operate any longer anyway. Is it too early for an onside kick? Yes, as Allison will kick it away. Over on the far side, Al Shipman from the 10. They put him down as they tried to take the ball away at the 21. Well, Memphis State scoring drive started in Miami territory. You can see most of it came through the air with the final 17 yards to Isaac Bruce. Well, their offense should be fresh because they didn't see the ball all that much in the third quarter. Now can the defense get the ball back for Memphis State? Four wide receivers for Collins will start the drive working out of the shotgun. Gets to the back, Stewart. They throw him out of bounds after the eight-yard completion. We go downstairs to Adrian Karsten. Joel, thanks very much with Paul V, the athletic director here at Miami. With 12.32 left in the game, 11-point lead, nothing is certain but the bowl situation. If you win, is the Fiesta Bowl a lock at this point, Paul? No, there are no bowls that are locks until the coalition members have met and decided on their invitations. Still have to wait for the polls to come out tomorrow uh, for the determination of the 1-2 game and for a lot of things. There's still many things that can happen. It's amazing that they can happen this late in the season, but it's been a great reason, and I think the coalition has worked very, very well. Your third year in the Big East, you finished second this year behind West Virginia. Two losses in a year is really not acceptable down here, is it? Well, two losses at the University of Miami is a very difficult thing. I'm sure there are a lot of people like to take our place, but it is very difficult when you lose, when you're used to winning, when you've done as well as we've done over the last decade. Uh, but we played two great teams. We've lost to two teams that are two of the top three teams in the United States, both on the road. Uh, they were both very good games, both tough games. Good luck, whether it's the Carquest Bowl, Fiesta Bowl, or whatever, Paul. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Joe? Thank you, Adrian. Was that the personal protection for Paul D. right behind I him? I think that's somebody from the coalition behind him there. It's been the kind of year for the coalition. James Stewart picking up a first down at that last run over to the left side. He stays in the backfield. I'm not real high on the coalition. Uh, Couldn't tell. No. I... Double pass. There you go. Tellison looking downfield. He's going for Jones, just out of his reach at the 25. Dominic Calloway. Dominic Calloway would not have any of that. He was playing this play of Chris Jones all the way. He read the release of the A.C. Tellison. He looped out. You almost could tell from the snap of the ball was a double pass. So now a second and long situation for Miami. They have not been able to put away this very feisty group of Memphis State Tigers with 12-19 left in the game. Plenty of numbers for Ryan Collins tonight in the passing department, but basically they've been a good team between the 20s. They have not been able to score all that much. Underneath, it's Larry Jones. Great tackle by Rod Brown. As he tried to pick up additional yardage and ended up losing a couple. It's only a four-yard gain on the reception. But that's been the key for Memphis State all night, the quick aspect of their defense. The numbers so far on Ryan Collins. The sophomore from Pembroke, Florida, 340 yards passing, but he has been picked off a couple of times. The 340, a new career best to the sixth career start for Collins. Third and six, and they've got the first down. The leading receiver through the course of the season, Chris Jones, out of Cardinal Newman High School in West Palm Beach. Pushed back the defensive back, Ken Irvin. The streak, we've been talking about it. Outscoring their opponents on an average at home of 36 to eight. So we talk so often about their offense, the great pro quarterbacks they've sent in the NFL. Eight points over the 56 games. Their defense has been incredible. Smallest margin was that game against Arizona. One point win by the Hurricanes. Stewart. 
Trying to go wide. He'll lose yardage on first down. Loses three. Let's check in once again with Mike Tirico. Mike? Guess where we're going? Back to the Murph. And Marshall Falk, he's over 100 yards, three touchdowns tonight. This is the third. 24.